Endocrine system acts with the nervous system to control activity of body cells. They control reproduction, growth, and development, maintenance of electrolyte, water, and nutrients in blood, and they also control the metabolism and immune system. Endocrine glands shown here in brain are pituitary and pineal gland, and on the neck, thyroid and parathyroid glands, and adrenal gland on top of kidney. Hypothalamus is neuroendocrine organ on the brain to control hormone secretion in pituitary gland. Some have exocrine and endocrine functions. Those are pancreas, gonad, placenta, and exocrine gland produce non-hormonal substance, sweat, saliva into duct to carry secretion to membrane surface. In contrary, endocrine gland produce hormones to blood and they lack ducts. Other tissues and organs that produce hormones are adipose cells, thymus, and cells in walls of small intestine, stomach, kidneys, and heart. Hormone can be uh, produced by um, Three different uh, stimuli. First is humoral stimulus involves changing blood level of ions and nutrients directly stimulate the secretion of hormones. Example can be calcium concentration in blood. Declining blood calcium concentration stimulates parathyroid gland to secrete parathyroid hormone PTH, whereas PTH causes calcium concentration to rise and stimulus is removed. Neural stimulus, second case, involves nerve fibers stimulate hormone release. Sympathetic nervous system fibers stimulate adrenal medulla to secrete uh, noepinephrine and epinephrine into blood. In the case of hormonal stimuli, which is the major majority of the case of <coughs> hormone uh, secretion, involves Hormones stimulate other endocrine organs to release their hormones. Hypothalamic hormones stimulate release of most anterior pituitary hormones, and anterior pituitary hormones stimulate targets to secrete still more hormones. Hypothalamic pituitary target endocrine organ feedback loop is where the hormone from final target organs inhibits release of anterior pituitary hormones. As you see in this slide, um, external stimuli, either it can be a positive or negative stress to hypothalamus can uh, act on the neurons on hypothalamus to release uh, TRH, which acts on pituitary to uh, release TSH, and then TSH in the end go to endocrine gland, which is a, in this case thyroid gland, the cells has receptors for uh, TSH and secretes the T3 and T4. Blood concentration of T3, T4 basically will go to all those cells uh, of the body to increase the ATP production by increasing gluconeogenesis so that you have more glucose to burn to produce ATP. And so, but however, if you have a too much T3, T4 circulating concentration in the blood, it's gonna be negatively a feedback, TRH released by hypothalamus, and also TSH released uh, by anterior pituitary. Therefore, blood concentration of T3, T4 can be uh, within the very narrow range. As you see, uh, hypothalamic uh, neurons secretes the releasing and inhibiting hormones to primary capillary fluxes, and in turn, it will stimulate the uh, endocrine cells in anterior pituitary to secrete the hormones to uh, secondary capillary fluxes uh, majority of them can be tropic hormones, which means that it will uh, stimulate uh, other endocrine organs such as thyroid gland, uh, gonad, 
adrenal gland uh, to secrete uh, more hormones so that it can have acts on the target cells which contain the receptor. Here I want to talk about tropic hormone means that anterior pituitary secretes those hormones and that hormone acts on uh, other endocrine organs such as shown here thyroid, gonads, adrenal gland to secrete them to have uh, more other hormones. How these hormones actually work? There are two types of hormones. One is um, water soluble, the other is fat soluble. Uh, here, this slide shows, shows the first example of water soluble hormone, which is amino acid based. And these guys are peptides and proteins and amino acid derivatives. And water soluble hormones are uh, basically all amino acid hormones except thyroid hormone. They act on plasma membrane receptors, which is coupled to uh, G protein. And upon the binding of the hormone, G protein now uh, binds to GTP and then activate uh, the adenylate cyclase on uh, cell membrane. And then adenylate activated adenylate cyclase will now um, activate ATP molecule to cyclic AMP, which in turn turns inactive protein kinase to active protein kinases, which gives the basically active cellular responses. Good examples are alter plasma membrane permeability or uh, membrane potential by opening or closing ion channels and stimulate synthesis of enzymes or other proteins and activate or deactivate enzymes and induce secretory, secretory activities and stimulate meiosis, mitosis. And fast soluble uh, hormones, in contrast, such as steroid and thyroid hormones, they act, act on intracellular receptors that directly activate the gene by basically passing through the membrane into the nucleus and binds to the DNA, and therefore they can directly turn on that gene product to messenger RNA and more protein can be made, which can give those cellular responses that I talked about previously. So those releasing and inhibiting hormones by hypothalamus work on the anterior pituitary, those endocrine cells, which now released tropic hormones or hormones. Example can be growth hormone, TSH, ACTH, FSH, and LH. Uh, prolactin, those guys will go to the target endocrine gland or target organ to produce their hormone, which basically has a specificity on it. So the blood um, concentration of those hormones actually negatively modulate how actively those uh, neurons on hypothalamus and also endocrine cells in anterior pituitary to secrete those hormones so that you have just the just enough hormones can be produced by endocrine gland. Uh, the pituitary gland and hypothalamus are very interesting. As you see this, hypophysis, that means pituitary gland, has uh, two major lobes. Here shows the posterior pituitary lobe, which is the neural tissue. As you see that, um, basically, um, neurons, axons are basically completely end in that posterior pituitary. And then anterior pituitary is a granular tissue, which is the gland which secretes those hormones. Therefore, they are completely two different origin. And anterior pituitary has uh, uh, different hormones are produced, but however, uh, posterior pituitary secretes the only, they do not secrete, they only store the, those Oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone are made by uh, neurons, which is released, stored and released into uh, inferior hypophysial artery. By contrast, anterior pituitary, as you see this, those hypothalamic neurons synthesize either uh, releasing and inhibiting hormones shown here, GHRH, GHIH, TRH, CRH, or ACTH, 
and GnRH or PIH um, into primary fluxes, capillary fluxes, and through a hypophysial portal vein now will get to the uh, cells, endocrine cells within the anterior pituitary to secrete either a growth hormone TSH, ACTH, FSH, and LH, and prolactin into secondary capillary fluxes so that they can circulate in the body to get to the target organ. And here are the examples that uh, summary of the all the uh, hormones which is secreted by hypothalamus and anterior pituitary, posterior pituitary, and also thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal cortex and medulla, and pancreas and gonads, which is ovary and the testes. And as you see this drawing, hypothalamus has those neurons which secretes those hormones into the uh, primary fluxes. In the case of anterior, uh, those hormones will go to anterior pituitary. Now, those hormones will trigger uh, those endocrine cells in anterior pituitary. Uh, there are five types. One is tomerotrope, which will release human growth hormone so that the target of those growth hormone in the blood will be bone and muscle to grow. In the case of naptotropes in anterior pituitary will secrete prolactin so it can go to bosom to secrete the milk. In the case of corticotropes in anterior pituitary will secrete the ACTH which will go to adrenal gland and let it produce cortisol. And in the case of thyrotropes in anterior pituitary will secrete the thyroid stimulating hormone which will target thyroid gland to secrete the T3, T4 for uh, cellular metabolism. Uh, gonadotropes in anterior pituitary will secrete the FSH and LH which will target to ovaries and testis cells to secrete either estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. And these are the major anterior pituitary hormones uh, abbreviation and actual names are shown and they are all proteins, anterior pituitary hormones are all proteins except growth hormone which activate through cyclic AMP second messenger system uh, at the target. So um, TSH, ACTH, FSH, LH are all tropic hormones since they regulate the secretory actions of other endocrine gland.